Investor in Capital Research uh, here with our latest YouTube video. We're going to talk to you today about the uranium market and very specifically the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust Fund. Uh, before we do so, just take a moment to look at our disclaimer. It's on your screen right now. In short, nothing you're about to see constitutes investment advice uh, or an offer to buy or to sell any securities. Sestrian Capital Research staff personal accounts hold long positions in U.UN and also in URNM, which is uh, a uranium ETF. So without further ado, we'll move on to the <laughs> Sprott Sprot Sprot Physical Uranium Trust. It comes in two forms. It's uh, a Canadian... Uh, instrument. Uh, the ticker is U.UN on the Toronto Exchange. You can also find the USADR, which is SRWF. Um, but today we're going to use the Canadian uh, because it's had a longer trading period and therefore uh, easier to chart. Now, uranium is uh, a commodity much in the news right now. Uh, what's going to come as a surprise to uh, green energy uh, enthusiasts everywhere, I suspect, is that uranium will turn out to be the latest and greatest green fuel, which for those of us who have been around a little while is hilarious because forever uh, people didn't want to use it because of uh, radioactive uh, waste problems, because of the uh, possibility of you know, dangerous explosions and so on and so forth. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, all of the renewable technologies developed so far have not been able to generate sufficient base load to eliminate enough carbon uh, to satisfy political requirements, and therefore uranium is coming back into fashion. Now, uh, the world's supply of nuclear power stations is pretty short and has been underinvested in for some decades since they went out of fashion. Uh, that might be problematic for world energy supply, but it's pretty good for the uranium sector. Now, there's many ways to play it. Uh, there are minor ETFs, URNM, URA, other sorts of things. But the purest uranium instrument out there is this Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. And it does what it says on the tin. So it's an investment trust. Uh, it buys physical pounds of uranium uh, using money it raises from the market. And it trades uh, with the price of uranium too. So we're going to chart this. Now, the great thing about commodities and uranium in particular is it trades purely, purely on sentiment. You know, there are no fundamentals. There's no earnings. There's no uh, impact from uh, inflation. This is purely on sentiment, which means it trades purely to technicals. And in fact, our preferred method of Elliott Waves and Fibonacci's works really well. So let's start at the 2020 lows where you know, every, every risk asset uh, spooked out and uranium was no exception. So let's start here and let's see what happened. Well, the first thing it did was it put in a move up that peaked middle of 2020 and then fell back towards the end of the year. So there we have our wave one and our wave two. And we'll draw the waves in in a moment and you'll see where we're going with this. In short, we think that the sector is going to make a run for some highs, but we want to show you how it's going to get there. Okay, next, we put in a wave three. So how you measure that is you go from the bottom of wave one to the top of wave one, restart at the bottom of wave two, and there's our wave three there. And then finally, we put in a wave four and a wave five higher. And if we can just draw those in now, Here we go. So there's your one. Two, which you'll notice is right around the 618 retrace of one. Classic wave two, three, and a four, and a five, like that. Now, as you'll know, if you've seen our stuff for a while, or if you follow other Elliott Wave analysis, five waves up all together makes a larger degree wave one. So let's just label that one up there, right there. All these boxes on the side you see here, we'll come to in a moment. So from the April uh, lows, March lows, I should say, in 2020 to the April 22 highs, we have a single large degree wave one up. Pretty big move from six uh, Canadian dollars a share up to just over 20. So a pretty big move. We then enter a large degree wave two, which goes something like this. From that April peak this year, we get down to a July trough, and that was pretty substantial retracement of that wave one up. 
you can see that it troughed near to the 0.618 retrace of this wave one up, which again is a fairly standard wave two retracement. So we can call that a larger degree of wave two. Now, you'll know what comes next, which is uh, if this pattern holds true, we get a larger degree wave three. And that's where things get interesting and why we think this is a pretty exciting place to be right now. So let's look at what a wave three might do. Well, wave threes, what do they do? There you go up. Let's just make that a dotted line as it's in progress. A wave three uh, can end in a number of places. The minimum it should get to is just above this prior wave one high. And so that would put uranium in the $20 range. And so we've called this a chicken bull target of, let's say, $20. Okay. But really, waves three can go a lot further. It's very common to see them extend to the 100% extension of that wave one. If that sounds fancy and complicated, it isn't. You just take the share price movement in the wave one uh, and then add it, uh, multiply it by 100%, in this case, multiply it by one, and then add it to the wave two low. So that's just, that there is just the length of the wave one placed at the wave two low. And that gets us, we've called it a reasonable bull target of $26. And because this is such an emotive uh, area where governments are now starting to announce new nuclear contracts, uh, where the world is starting to wake up to the fact that this might be the next uh, green energy source, it's quite possible that we put in a standard wave one. Nothing super bullish, nothing super exciting, but peaking at the 1.618 extension of wave one for the standard wave three, I'm sorry. And so uh, we might see $35 here, and we've called that the crazy rodeo bull target. But it's not crazy. That would just be a regular wave three up. Yeah, nothing particularly unusual there. And so we think that uranium in this Sprott physical uranium trust form is a pretty interesting place to be. We hold uh, stock in this in staff personal accounts for disclosure. We own long uh, positions in this. And it's a pretty volatile instrument, as you can see. This chart comes from our Growth Investor Pro service, which we'll uh, post a, a link to in the comments below this video. And in that service, we highlight um, ways to accumulate stocks for the long term. So in this one, we'd said it's a, a good idea, we think, to accumulate in between uh, around 11 bucks and around 15 uh, Canadian, I should say. And um, if it goes much below uh, 11, that's probably a good place to have a, a stop zone uh, a stop loss because probably something has gone wrong with the market or with the stock at that point. We think that, uh, you know, over this sort of 14, 15 level, we're in what we think of as the markup zone where the market sort of catches up to the idea and newcomers into the market uh, can bid the price of this thing up. And if you've been buying in this accumulate zone, then you should have been able to spend time building a nice position and now let other people make you money. Mark up because the position in your account, if it goes this way, will be getting marked up in value, but you won't be doing anything about it because you will have finished accumulating down here. So we still think that this is a, a viable opportunity to buy uh, at this level, so certainly after last week's pullback, but this is, this is the zone we've been highlighting for some uh, months now in our Growth Investor Pro service. So we think the stock, if it trades true to pattern, again, nothing unusual here, just a regular wave and Fibonacci pattern can reach, you know, 20 uh, without too much stress in the chart. 26 would be quite common, 100% extension. And 35 um, is absolutely plausible uh, based purely on the Elliott wave and Fibonacci uh, method, which works really, really well for stocks that trade purely with sentiment. It works very, very well for crypto as well, and we'll come to that in a future video. So that's all we have for you, for you today. Uh, we'll post links to some more of our free work uh, in the comments below this. If you like the video, please hit like, and please subscribe to this channel. Everything on this channel is free, always free, uh, and tell all your friends and colleagues about it if you've liked the work here. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you Market. We subscribe to Uranium Insider Newsletter. Uh, it's on your screen right now. And if you look in the comments field uh, below this video, you'll see a link to their site right in the comments there. You can go straight through to there. Uh, Uranium Insider is a great source of fundamental uh, market analysis, industry insight, industry interviews, uh, and many other things from the Uranium market. 
And our own work layers technical analysis on top of it. We do a good job in our service, but for uh, the basics, the fundamentals, take a look at Uranium Insider Pro. And again, the link is below. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel for more and set to alerts to alert you as soon as new content comes out, which is often. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.